Hello, this is Arabella from Arabella's Heart for Book Arts. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> uh, I was just um, trying to make it a little bit lighter because, uh, yeah, the last few days we only had uh, rain, 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 and it was so dark outside. And yeah, so I, I'm trying to make it a little bit lighter. And uh, yeah, I want to show you how you can make uh, these embellishments. So I have uh, talked a little bit about it on my channel, about the uh, tag tassels that I came up with. And of course I'm in love with tassels, uh, even though I never showed any tassel making on my channel. But... Um, yeah, all of a sudden I was cutting these small things and was make, making uh, a knot and trying to, um, yeah, I was just mindless making some stuff. I don't know if you have that. Sometimes I do. So just uh, in front of the TV having all my uh, of or a little bit of craft stuff in front of me. And then just starting and making stuff so so that's how I came up with this and then of course I had to make a digital thing <laughs> out of it because that's also what I love to do so I made a tag tassel digital <laughs> also but for this um, tutorial so I'm going to make one the last one I did was this one so for this tutorial I will um, use a few hearts uh, because of Valentine's Day and I love the coffee dyed uh, tea stained and water stained paper that I used for the background and I think I'm going to use this uh, and perhaps also a little bit of this. So. Let's just start and I also want to show how that would look because I'm, I designed a few um, of these books and this is the small version. This is, uh, I hope you can see it, I will turn into the light once in a while so that I have a little bit of more uh, a good image, I hope. <laughs> so I designed these... Um, yeah, pockets to go in this tiny journal and then um, yeah so I want to start uh, to make these and to show you how what you can do with my uh, printables but the tassels yeah I just stuck it on with a paper clip and then you have an embellishment like this on the side and the back side you can ink or um, yeah this is also in my shop by the way these tiny butterflies I didn't print them out to make this tutorial but I could do it um, because I'm also making tutorials about these books as I said so I will also make this mini and uh, large uh, sized uh, one and I will get my ruler this I'll show you um, this one is eight I think by five yeah eight by five and then uh, the smaller one I did know it by heart but, but no <laughs> is four uh, by six yeah four by six but that could uh, be a little bit different because I changed the cover I made it a little bit larger so that uh, it will you will have a little bit of more wiggle room but that that's what I'm going to explain uh, yeah when I when I will make it so <laughs> So I was waiting for a little bit of good weather and a little bit of light and then the days kept on going so I thought well I'm just going to start. 
uh, of course uh, when you make stuff like this you can al uh, always uh, think about the base so you could use a ribbon to attach tiny things to you could uh, also use embroidery uh, floss to uh, bind that and what I used was this sort of it resembles baker's twine but it is uh, wool it is um, yeah pink with uh, white and that's what I really liked what you also can use could use uh, are these beads small beads so um, yeah put something on it and put a bead and you can embellish uh, as much uh, or as little as you want you can also uh, put tiny cards and just make a hole uh, for instance on the side of that card and then you can attach it just like a small um, small uh, price tag or something I don't know how else ticket yeah small ticket or something so there are a lot of possibilities and I just wanted to show that um, that you can do different things so we will start with with the example that I showed you what you will need is twine or some of the other things that I showed you something to uh, put it on uh, a paper clip ink a few nice um, small embellishments of your own choice and scissors so the first thing uh, that I'm going to do I already have a few cards I was uh, making stuff because I was waiting for the sun to come so <laughs> but well now I will uh, put this aside and then start to cut so let's see what will I choose I'm going to cut out this one and because they are all I have my uh, I have a cutting machine next to me but <laughs> of course I'm going for my scissor <laughs> I don't know because they're small I think so so let's just um, also cut out a few of those cards a little bit around these I designed so you can also cut around it or make tucks with it but I also have them in a, in a larger size with the cute know, uh, did I call them all but I have cute and small yes <laughs> that's it I also want a few of those larger hearts why not and these I put next to each other so you can uh, use it as a whole or use it uh, as a double you can uh, fold it in half so yesterday I was also uh, uh, purchasing but I haven't received it yet a new scoreboard so I'm really excited about that because I really with my new um, tutorials coming up I would really need it so so just cut them out I'm so afraid that you can't see me because of the light is so terrible now I really need a, a good light a good lamp to film so now I cut a little bit too much of that but that well I will make it uh, look pretty you can also layer it and then uh, embellish uh, one tiny card with uh, with different things oh of course you will need uh, glue then if you want to do that so so just cut a few out like this and it's really uh, super simple so this one I want a little bit around because I really need to um, purchase a new 
corner rounder because I think I, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so this one is a little bit round, square, a few squares on, on that side. And then wh what you also can do is um, make one a little bit long strip so that you can hang something on it just like I showed you. This one. I won't uh, make it a long video. <laughs> so that I also want to start with my other. Uh, yeah, I'm really uh, nervous in a good way for uh, to make my new uh, my new uh, TNs. These ones are squares, but you can um, make a diagonal uh, cut, so I'm not really a good cutter, but, <laughs> but well, nobody's watching. So now I have enough. Um, yeah, you can decide for yourself how long do you want it to be. If you have a long um, journal, like like this one for instance it's tall i mean and then it's uh, really fun to make a long long one a long uh, tall one as i throw out all my cards <laughs> so like that that will look really cute of course but but when you make when you are making a smaller book when you have made a smaller book yeah then you can make a smaller one so i will make this one as tall as the small um tm that we are going to make after this video so i will keep this as, as a reference so that i don't make it uh, too long so i will leave uh, put it uh, aside that and you can also put two cards or even put them together like this it's the sky is the limit do what you want what i like to do is or uh, make a card on the bottom or make a card on top and that because that look that looks really cool i think so uh, so now when i have this i will put this aside um i'm going to ink all the edges so i don't even use a sponge for this one you can also uh, ink the back side make it as cute as you want it to be you can also uh, take pink and use pink ink on the back side pink ink <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can do a lot of uh, different stuff. I don't know if I have my dauber here. To be honest, I think I left it downstairs. So ink all the edges. This one is already digitally inked, but <laughs> well. And if you want something in the back, you can do that. As I said, I see a different spongy thing i will try it if that will work just make the back a little bit more interesting that's what you can do and also what you can do is fold these thingies in half do i have my bone folder yes i do so like that and then um yeah i will ink everything first all the edges i really love that look that distressed look everything looks better with an edge on it i think looks more i really <laughs> cut it out <laughs> wonky <laughs> doesn't look that pretty to me but well <laughs> we'll leave it 
just like that. So, yeah. Mm. Not really pretty. So, ooh. a little bit too much, of course. <laughs> Story of my life. Let's <laughs> cut away too much, and that's not not something you can rectify. <laughs> so. So like that. So I won't. Um, yeah, I I will tell you if you can do something extra, but I won't do uh, all the extra stuff. But I will tell you, and if I think about something uh, along the way. Oh yeah, I see. Also, I have baker's twine, but that's not really baker's twine. Let me show you. I see it in the corner of my eye. I bought this, but it was uh, for, um, yeah, in action I bought this. This is uh, was at the section for cars, so it's really sturdy stuff, but it resembles uh, baker's twine and it's really sturdy, but it will look, this is real baker's twine, so, and this is the yeah it's nylon or something but it's really sturdy so I thought why not why not give that a go so now after the inking you get your punch and then think about where you want to put a hole yeah I want here I want it in the middle and here you can put it on the heart or in one of those white uh, thingies and I'm really bad about this, by the way. <laughs> I never go in the center <laughs> of, the, of these uh, where I'm supposed to go. So, and I have another heart, and here I will do it in the center, more or less. <laughs> and another hole here. And here I want it a little bit over there. And here I will put it in a little bit in the middle. Why not? So now you have made all your hole or your holes. <laughs> Can't talk. Perhaps try to use this. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit too bulky, I think. I want to go for the for this stuff. So take your um, twine, whatever you want, and then Think about how you want to um, build it. So uh, set your book beside it and then think about the height or the length. And then you can place it already how you would want it. So let me play a little bit with it. So not both, something like this over here perhaps make an extra hole and then put this on it or the other way around yeah i'm thinking out loud so i'm making an extra hole so that i can put this onto it so about in the middle why not so this i will connect over here and then at the end i want a triangle to attach over there so I will make another hole on the bottom so that's how you decide you just look how you want it to be and then uh, try to make that work so this I want to connect there but then it will be too long let me see yeah and then it the I have the length now and this will uh, be the extra card that I will put beside it. So this is the first one that I have and I will, um, because these holes are big enough, I don't ha even have to have a needle. So that's also a little less uh, headache. <laughs> For me because I often I don't see the hole for the needle so I make 
make th three knots and then I'm deciding how long it's gonna go so I'm just measuring the length and then take another one just to be certain so two times the, the length then I will have a tail to um, get everything on it so I will take the next card let me see yes it's working and then this is really simple you just decide how much a space you want between it and make a knot so I want it to dangle just about here so I'm making a knot where I want it to dangle so pull it through and then make uh, really gently make a knot because if you pull too hard the the card will break and I did use a little bit of sturdy um, paper cardstock 110 uh, pound um, light cardstock to uh, to print this on it is recycled white by the way so I did make a little bit too many the knots so now um, now I'm going for the next one so these are connected now and I'm going for the oop, as I'm throwing one down so I'm one less I have one less <laughs> I could find it but hmm let me see if this will work yeah so now I have the hearts together but that's okay and then you can decide if you want uh, even another one together with those to keep it company <laughs> So like that so I will do two together now and make a knot and decide how much it's really a little bit uh, hard to see I think but I'm doing the best I can so now it's together like this and I just about evenly spaced it but that's not um, purposely done so I just uh, did it unconsciously I think why do you call that <laughs> so pull it and then make another knot I hope you can see it and I'm not out of frame so like that so now you have this something that looks like this and it's already beginning to look really cute now I want I want to attach because I have an extra hole here I am cutting a different cord for that and that will give an extra uh, nice uh, touch so you pull it through and then get the other card that you want to attach it you can also twist them around so now for the sake of this video I did wait I'll put this aside for now because now I have the height that I want already so you can see it a little bit better so now I will um, make this card go on to that one with a separate twine oh excuse me I have a little bit of a runny nose I had the flu for a really long time and I'm still not in the clear <laughs> about the flu then sometimes I don't use the right words so so now you have an extra one and that is uh, going that way but I did make a hole here so I could make another card dangling on that side 
you could do that but I think it's already the right height so I think I'm going to stop and then perhaps I will attach something else here a piece of um, uh, how do you call that uh, ribbon then make a bow that's something you can do what's also a possibility is that you um, take a strip and this um, is fabric this is I bought this uh, at action in the aisle for to make plants so there are faux uh, flowers in that aisle and that green stuff that you can put all the faux plants into and then this is to decorate the pots so this is the height from that pot that where it was sitting and I thought wow this is really nice fabric it's a little bit sheer or you could see it through it what you also can do is um, for this project is to cut a strip of um, of fabric uh, whichever fabric you have and then uh, sew the little uh, things onto it or attach it with holes that's also possible so so now I have here have already twine so I decide to take the longest one and then uh, yeah I have it <laughs> so now I'm just making a knot again and this is really a fun way to make uh, an easy and quick embellishment it could uh, also uh, you can put it on the side of a card or a tall card or small card or you can make really small uh, hearts or uh, really uh, you can cut really small images out or from your own uh, stash uh, you we all have stash so and then uh, I really like that this is going the other way around I don't know if that's really going to look nice onto the book but yeah we'll see about that so and then you uh, you have enough twine so now is the twine also on this side so i will cut that and here you can attach also attach uh, another one if you want to so i will take the tallest one and then uh, take my um i lost the word paper clip and just run it through and run it through it again so that it's a little bit stuck and then close it up that's how i do it <coughs> excuse me so now you have a really cute embellishment and this one i made a little bit bigger so that you can see it but you can make it smaller you can make it larger perhaps uh, do this oh no i i really want to cut this off why not it's paper <laughs> so you can do what you want and also uh, perhaps uh, use some uh, some uh, beads as I said in between you can make it as elaborate or as uh, non elaborate as you uh, as you want so but that let's check it out and, uh, I will pull this one off with. I really also love these butterflies I think I'm going to make that for the tall one with the butterflies that's also a nice idea when you have a image and they are stacked uh, in the length that will also work really well so now we take our new embellishment and clip it on just like that and now you have this on the side of your book you can also make it with three just just uh, three or just or only the long ones but i took a few so that you can uh, see what uh, my idea was and then also you can make all books 
just like this uh, this uh, card embellishment this small thingy you can make all small books dangling on the side or just one book i have so many ideas you don't even know <laughs> my mind is racing racing all the time <laughs> so i have too many ideas i think <laughs> but um yeah so i want to get out <laughs> as much as i can in the next video uh, I am going to show you how to make this small TN. So it's a traveler's notebook. It uh, holds uh, envelopes, uh, no pockets. Yeah, really, you know what it is? You can display it. You see, my mind is going. <laughs> now I'm talking about this. You can display it if you, yeah, I can't show it really because you can't see it now. But when you set your book up straight, it, it really looks so nice. And then uh, when you don't want it on, it on there, you just uh, pull the clip off, the paper clip. So I, I did do the binding here with beads also. Yeah, I, um, I really love it. Uh, I don't know why but I really love this idea so I think when I'm going to make this with you I'm, I will keep it simple uh, so that it's also accessible for beginners uh, who just started I am not that long ago I was a beginner so so I can relate how that feels and that something seems a little bit too hard but I will explain step by step how uh, you can make this and make it as simple as possible. So that will be in the next video and I also because this is a small video I want to show something that I am working on. I'm working on some covers. And these are from made from corrugated cardboard as she, cardboard as you can see <laughs> I have a little bit of bubbling going on but, and this one is a little bit more I'm sorry I bumped into you <laughs> a, little, a little bit more uh, ready so I put two brads on the sides for the closure already so this is something I made from from I when I moved here, they um, brought my medicine in this, in these containers, in these wooden, um, I'm sorry, corrugated uh, cardboard uh, boxes. So I could also uh, make a box uh, of keep it a box and then make it pretty. And I also use this for small embellishments to keep it in and. But now I saved a few because I thought to myself I want to make something out of it. But sorry for the noise. But when you if you see it, it's really long. But it has already has score marks over here, so that is really uh, easy. So what I did was, and I will show you in another video, is uh, cut all this off and then. Uh, folded it in half and glued it and that made these strong uh, covers and this was my first one so uh, I do have a little bit of a learning curve of course and also because it's corrugated cardboard you see a little bit of the lines and this paper I got from my uh, from friends my old neighbors they uh, gifted that to me for Christmas so I uh, they gave me uh, two uh, two pads to uh, I will show you that in another video so this is my next uh, project that's really or what I'm working on in the meantime <laughs> that's also what I can tell you and let me get if I can reach and then show you what we will be working on the next time and that will be the mini so the TN mini that this is what I showed you this is this you see this is the pocket and this is the pocket 
all I did was cut it out and bind each pocket in so that the folders can go in on top. So this is uh, my whole new idea that I'm really proud of by the way. <laughs> if I can say so myself. <laughs> can I be proud of myself? <laughs> yes I can, <laughs> why not? <laughs> So uh, yeah, I made all kinds of folders, this is inked, so all kind, kinds of folders to go into it. So I first designed the folders and then I made the pockets separ separately and then I came up with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, something like this and also made one with a file folder so that you can put your pictures onto it. So this. I'll give you the dimensions already. I moved the camera, I'm sorry about that. So this uh, picture for instance is a 3 by and these are my my uh, by 2 just above. So a 3 by 2 picture is easily fits onto this and even a larger one so this is cute right so such a cute small thingy <laughs> also you can uh, put your pictures in the on the inside of course or stick it rather <laughs> so like that yeah so this is <coughs> is i'm sorry about that it's going to be uh, in the next video and uh, and I will decide, this, this is a cover by the way, and I will use, I will show you, uh, at least I want to work with this one, so it's uh, the teal one, and I want to use this one, a little bit grungy, so these have, have stripes, and then I will make it with, I think with three envelopes. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean pockets, so that you are not overwhelmed and uh, I, this, I did make five, so I've also had a grey one, pocket and folders, and this could be belly band or cut apart, uh, cards, little cards, and I don't see the other one. What I want to show you was um, the, let me see where I put it, just one minute, right. the rest here, this is also um, a cover, I want to use this one for the front cover and this one uh, for the back, on the inside, so so this I will be using and this and then I will be using the three uh, three pockets so the teal I'm going to use the teal one uh, the grungy one and uh, this one this is really also one of my favorites it's li it's really yeah so that will be um, my next uh, project and also I see that this, this would wor work really good together. So I think I will use my uh, digital on uh, with this. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, <laughs> I will stop my video now and I will say to you all, have a great day, keep crafting and I hope you love this video, you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and tell me what you think about it and what you think about my videos. I'm really also always curious what people think about what I'm doing. Or do you think, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so please let me know and um, yeah, have a great day, have a great weekend or whatever day it is. And I will see you later. Talk to you soon. Next video will be this. Bye. Doei. Doei.